Believe me. I was six years old when I first tried to make people laugh. I remember dressing up for my family and getting laughter is addictive. So after college, I started doing stand-up comedy at night. I talk in my sleep according to my phone bill. But uh... <laughs> I've been doing stand-up for more than 25 years. When I met my husband, he had two young sons, and I wanted to spend more time with them. So I took my career, which was kind of in the fast lane, and I merged over a few lanes. My day is I will do some laundry, and then I might do some laundry, then I do some more laundry. It's all about the laundry. Now that my boys are older, it's time for me to pursue my dream. That's Radio City. Oh, my god, I might. Pass out. We know you're going to do great, and we love you. Thank you. I love making people laugh. I just love it. Sounds corny. Somebody's got to do the Rockettes laundry. OK, it's me. smells really good in here. What is that, Febreze? Can you smell my perfume? I put on a lot of perfume. I put on like a whole magazine. Uh, can you smell it in the back? Today is my lucky day because I'm on AGT and you're here. And also today I found $20. Isn't that fun when you find money? It was just sitting there in the tip jar at Starbucks. <laughs> so I've been following the judges on social media, and you should too, and they're so entertaining. And I have to say, Heidi and Mel B, you've inspired me to get a bikini because I've seen the pictures of you. And, but my bikini is a three-piece. Um, <laughs> It's a top, a bottom, and a blindfold for you. <laughs> but I'm going to flaunt it, because I'm 46 years old. And I don't feel 46, because I'm 47. So I, um, <laughs> for two years now, and uh, I've been telling that joke for five. I don't. <laughs> I'm 48, final answer. I am very immature for a 49-year-old woman, <laughs> according to my pediatrician. Uh, now that I'm 50, one and a half, two, I am past my sexual peak and my credit limit. I spend money like I have it. Um, <laughs> Even my cash is bouncing. I, we I went to get a personal loan, and the guy was like, well, what is it for? And I'm like, it's personal. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm asking my father for money at 53. I am. Thank you very much, America. Outstanding. Everyone is on their feet for Wendy Liebman. Hilarious. Heidi, yes. you're standing up, you're still clapping, you're laughing, and they say you don't get comedy. No, I love your stream of consciousness style of delivery because you just ravel on and on and on, always under your breath, and you're just getting older and older and older. We, we haven't figured it out. I'm, I mean, I know what you're talking about. I've been lying about my age for years. I'm 41 now. Anyway, me too. I loved it. You really made me laugh. I thought you were great. Thank you. <laughs> Mel B. I have to say, finally, a lovely, good-looking woman that makes us all laugh for the entire act, from start to finish. You made us all through it. And that's never happened, by the way. That's never happened. Never happened before. You know, uh, it's funny. You had a follow Acro Army, which had a great uh, thing there. And you came out. And what I, I was concerned with you because every time I see you, sometimes you play the victim in the sense that, oh, I haven't been in stand-up for a long time. And, 
you came out tonight like you own that stage. You came out like a rock star. And I love that. And you were so funny and in command. Great job. Really great. Thank you. Fantastic. Our comedic expert, Mr. Howie Mandel. Well, let me just say, I've known Wendy for 56 years now. And the thing is... <laughs> but she is truly, you know, I think, I truly believe, and people are not going to believe me because I'm a comedian, I think that's the hardest profession. I think you need more from the audience than any other act tonight. You need to make them laugh. Everything that you did, every swing you took was a home run. You made us laugh. We believed you. We love you. We like you. Vote for you. All right, Wendy. You got to tell me, a little emotional, I see that. How was it performing at Radio City Music Hall? It's so surreal. First, I really want to thank the guys in the back, all the crew back there. They are beyond amazing. But, uh, yeah, give it up for them. The crew. <laughs> but I also, like, when I was a little girl, my parents used to bring me to Radio City every Christmas. And then they'd pick me up at Easter. But, um, <laughs> but to have them here see me perform on this stage is just surreal. So. Super funny. Thank you so much. Good luck and good job. To put Wendy into the semifinals, you gotta vote for her. She left me.